Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Raptors Messiah Jury says he will fight for wrongly accused after encounter with lying police officer. It takes a selfless person to turn their trauma into a blessing for others. That's what Raptors president Messiah Jury is looking to do after law enforcement robbed him of his championship moment following the 2019 NBA Finals. The championship executive is now looking to fight for the wrongly accused who have been made victims by authorities. I say it is as humbly as I can. The privilege of the job I have is to fight for this, a jury said on Wednesday in an interview with Robin Roberts on Good Morning America. They are wrongly accused. There's no body cams. Nobody sees what happens and they are incarcerated or they are accused or they are charged. We have to fight for them. Okay. A jury of black men was sued after an interaction with Alameda County Sheriff Deputy Alan Strickland turned physical and the officer refused to let a jury join his squad moments after it beat the Golden State Warriors in California to end the series. Video evidence from Strickland's body cam later showed that the officer shoved the jury twice as he was trying to step onto the court before Raptor guard Raptors guard Kyle Lowry pulled him onto the court to celebrate. The Raptors executive said that at one point he couldn't sleep for three days thinking about the situation. A jury later issued a countersuit against Strickland claiming that he lied. Strickland and jury both dropped their lawsuits against each other earlier this month. As much as we say, yeah, this happened to me, there's worse that's happened to other people, right? A jury said, I lost the moment. People have lost their lives. The jury has a firm understanding of what it means to be a black man with privilege in this country. He knows that if he wasn't one of the best front office executives in the entire NBA, he likely would have never been able to prove that he was innocent of any wrongdoing. There have been many instances in this country where the police officers will fabricate stories to clear themselves of their shady behavior and oftentimes they get away with it, especially if it involves a black man or person of color. The jury has the resources to help minorities fight against crooked officers who wrongly accuse them of crimes. His commitment to help others who have been in this his situation is not only commendable, it's heroic. These matters are not only about right and wrong, they are a matter of life and death. This is a problem black people have been dealing with for decades. Last year, the country got an in-depth look into what could happen when you don't hold officers accountable for their actions. The murders of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd are only the tip of the iceberg. Excuse me. The jury had his life changed forever due to this encounter with Strickland nearly two years ago. And if he hadn't had the resources to fight it, who knows where he'd be today. Now nah, he's taking the responsibility on himself to make sure that people less fortunate aren't having to suffer due to the actions of corrupt law enforcement. Now, Messiah Jury just basically said, you know what? There's people that's out there wrongfully accused. I lost the moment. They lost their life. And all of this stuff, you know, now all of a sudden, you know, he wants to be black because he went through an experience. And a lot of black people go go through this. A lot of black people are this. They, they do this all the time where they turn the cheek on what's really going on. Instead of speaking up or saying anything, they have to wait till it happens to them for them to even um acknowledge it. But let me ask you something, Mr. On the Jury. Did you feel that way when you got rid of Dwayne Casey after he won Coach of the Year? Huh? You got rid of Dwayne Casey after he won Coach of the Year. And wasn't his fault that the team was struggling in certain situations. The problem was DeRozan. 
excuse me, the problem was DeRozan. The Rosen has was the reason that they were choking. Down the stretch, they needed him to make a basket. Now, I don't want to get off topic and basically talk about, you know, well, talk about, well, look at look at how this happened or what this happened. The the Raptors and everything have turned it around. They're looking good. They're they're looking like a tough um team out there. Um because they're running the offense through Fred Van Fleet when earlier they were trying to run it through Pascal and others and it wasn't working. The um the the, the thing is this you have to you have to look at the whole totality of of how blacks are treated. And Masai, you know, he went through it and he understands, you know, and I and I'm glad he's fighting for blacks who are basically going through this stuff and and who are wrongfully accused or some who excuse me. Um, who are confused, um, who are, um, who may have been killed and then their family has to come back and deal with all the pieces and deal with all the mess. Now, the thing is this, a jury, I mean, that's cool you're doing this, but people have got to stop just bringing up the Breonna Taylor and the George Floyd. There have been countless other blacks that have been killed. Trayvon Martin, that still doesn't sit right with me how he was handled and how he was let off. And that's in my state that that happened. Um, Kanika Jenkins, nobody never knew what happened to her. They still haven't explained what happened to her right. I mean... There's been countless George Floyds and Breonna Taylors. There's been countless of them. And for you just to start now, it's like, come on, dog. Like, and to me, I think he's a, a black man from overseas. Those type of black men, I kind of have pro tro I have, ugh, excuse me, tongue tied. I have kind of a tough time in connecting with or talking to because they think they're so much above a black American. Um, especially the Africans and those from overseas in certain parts, they look down at you like you ain't worth spit. So, I mean, that's cool for him, but I just don't like the way how, you know, if he was looking out for the black man, why did he fire Dwayne Casey? To me, I, I mean, that's cool. He's doing this. I think he's just doing this because it happened to him. And then he's, He's basically trying to say, you know, yeah, I'm I'm going to start doing this and doing that. And what these people don't understand, like when you're in a position that you're in to get the money that you get, you could have been and did something talking about these cops and, and the black on black crimes and how blacks are being treated or how they're treating each other. You could have been stepped in and said something, but now you want to step in because it happened to you. You know, black people, you know, it's it's like that episode on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with Carlton. Carlton, you know, <laughs> Uncle Phil knew, you know, what was going on. Will knew what was going on. But Carlton trying to act like, well, you know, he's just being this way. Just, just He's just doing his job when he really was profiling. And there's blacks like Carlton out there who are very naive and who let things happen to them. They don't care. They're like, man, whatever, you know, it is what it is. They're just doing their job. But sometimes doing their job, they sometimes go overboard. And in this situation, that's cool. Masai Jury did. Um, he's, he's trying to look after brothers. Some have lost their life and some haven't. He lost in a moment and people lost their life. Excuse me. I mean, that's cool, man, but I got to see action. And to me, 
it shouldn't have to take you to go through something for you to want to um step up to the plate and 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 um step up to the plate and basically give your um and 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 um give your opinion on it and basically actually want to do something now for blacks you know you should have been doing it and i didn't like the way you got rid of Dwayne casey i still do not like you guys after that um that's the reason why i do not like you guys i I don't like you because of how you treated Dwayne Casey. Dwayne Casey should have stayed and y'all should have got rid of DeRozan. Um, thank you for listening. Um, tell me in the comment section, do you believe Masai Jury that he's going to step up for blacks who have been wrongfully accused and wrongfully done? Or do you think he's just saying this because it just it happened to him? Or do you feel like he's just saying it because it's the right thing to say right now? Um, let me know in the comment section what you think. Thank you for listening. We're out. Deezy.